Hi everyone, Christine here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I have a guest design team project for Scrap Diva Designs and let me share with you her card. Her website is scrapdivadesigns.com and here's her, all her info. And I'm gonna leave all of her links down below so you can check her out. And the die I'm featuring today is the perfume bottle shaker die and it comes with a set of two, a small and a larger one. And they do come with bows and you can make shakers out of them too. Super cute die. And I also used the heart bag topper dies. I used the negative um, hearts from the small heart bag topper die and the large one. And I'll show you how I use that in just a bit. And I also use the heart circle nesting dies. And what I did was I took the largest one and I just used the negative hearts um, out of here for accents. And I'll show you how I use that. Now let me bring this up a little closer. Isn't this pretty? And I made this into a box. And, um, and for those that are new, I went ahead and got the measurements for you. I cut out a seven and one eighth by five and three quarters um, paper. And then what you wanna do is score it on all sides at two and three eighths. So score it here, two and three eighths, turn your paper, two and three eighths, etc. That way you don't have to think. <laughs> And then, um, and these are your cut lines. So you want to cut down here and here and here and there. And then to get rid of some bulk, cut below the score line. Not sure if you can see it. Cut below the score line here on all sides. And I'll show you what you end up with. So you end up with something like this. And then you um, fold all of your score lines. And the way I glue this together was I glue the flaps to the outside of the box because you're going to be covering the um, this with pattern paper. And that way the inside of your box is clean. There's no flaps. So that's how I did this. So you can see there's no flaps. And so anyway, the paper I used is called Sweet Secrets by Lemoncraft. I love it. And let me start here first. I used um, some cheesecloth. This little doily die here is from my stash. And then I have some papers that I tore. Um, I have some wedding applique here and here and there. And this heart here, this is the largest heart of the uh, heart bag topper die, and I added lace behind it. And this is the negative heart from the smallest heart bag topper die, and I popped that up on one millimeter foam. And let's see, and then I have my flower cluster here, which I just sewed. I have a little pearl here. And I added um, some a seam binding bow with a tiny little pearl heart that's from Joann's. And then I have some lace here. This is um, from Michael's, I believe, many years ago. And then I have some lace. This is from Joann's and some four millimeter flat back pearls. And that goes all the way around. And at the top here, this is where I use the tiny little negative heart pieces from the heart circle nesting die from the largest one. Isn't it cute? So this is a good, pretty good size. It's one inch in depth and the height is two and three eighths and width is two and three eighths. So you can fit a good amount. You can even fit um, a tall, you can put a gift card in there if you want, some sequins, candy. That's a good size. So oh, isn't it cute? Anyway, so I'm going to leave all the links down below, uh, as I mentioned, to Scrap Diva Designs um, links, um, also to all of the products that I used, and um, and everyone, please use my my discount code. It's called um, 
Pink House 10 for a 10% discount off your entire order. And I would love it if you use all of my affiliate links and um, at no additional cost to you, I just get a small commission. And so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I thank you all so much for watching. Bye for now.